What's going on guys, it's your boy Pinoy Shinobi. I'm here to show you guys all of the game modes in Call of Duty Ghosts. There's been a lot of new ones and a lot of old ones that have kind of been removed. Well, not a lot, but there's one in particular that I'm thinking of. So, let's go. Find game. Uh, so we have Standard, Hardcore, and Clan vs. Clan. And um, let's start off with Standard. So with Standard, we have obviously Team Deathmatch. Cranked, which says... Kills give you extra abilities, two times score, and 30 seconds to live. Chain kills to stay alive. So this is the one where it's kind of like TDM, but once you kill someone, you have to kill another person within 30 seconds. And every time you kill someone, you, you, un you unlock extra perks. And um, I'm not sure what it means by two times score, but that's how it works. Also, this is the one where I think when they drop a briefcase, you are able to grab that briefcase and if you do the field order, so if it tells you get two kills while jumping and if you do that, um, you are, I think you get a care package unless you get a nuke. I haven't played, I played Cranked like once during Eurogamer and that's pretty much it. It's very hard to find games in any of these other game types because uh, for the most part everyone is playing Team Deathmatch or Free For All. And as you can see on the bottom right it says zero players in playlist but the fact is, there are people who are playing right now, even though it is pre-release, but, you know, Infinity Ward aren't, like, showing that right now for some reason. I think on the day it comes out, they'll start showing it. So moving on to the next one, Blitz. Each game has an objective zone at their base. Enter the enemy's team zone to score points for your team. So this is the one where it's kind of like, uh, capture the flag, and if you notice on the list, there is no more capture the flag. I believe Blitz is the replacement for Capture the Flag, and um, this is the one where you have to run to the enemy base, and then once you get there, you that's it, you score one point for your team, and instead of running all the way back, you get spawned back at your base. So it's kind of like, I, I don't know the rules of American football, but I presume it's something similar to this, where you kind of have to touch down at your enemy's base, kind of like that. Um, this was kind of revealed during the multiplayer trailer at the very end where the guy disappeared, if you guys remember that. Moving on to the next one, search and rescue. Defend and destroy the objective. Grab dog tags to respawn enemies, or allies, I mean, and prevent enemy respawns. So this is the replacement for search and destroy. I don't know how I feel about that. Search and destroy is one of my favorite game types, but this is the new version. This is search and destroy 2.0. Um, it's kind of like search and destroy, but it's mixed with a bit of kill confirmed where if you die You drop a dog tag if your teammate grabs it you respawn if your enemy grabs it That's it. You have to wait until the next round and that's pretty much it. That's pretty that's pretty much the only difference between this and uh, Search and destroy so I don't know. We'll play this. I'll try and get some gameplay. We'll see how different it is Moving on, we have Infected. If you guys have played Model for 3, you should know what this is. Infected is the one where, um, okay, let me read the description, it says, Eliminate, Eliminated survivors become infected. Infect everyone or survive the game to win. So basically, this is the one where you have like a, a game full of, I don't know, is it 6 or 9 people? And then randomly one person gets selected to be infected. Um, in the Model for 3 version, they got a, a knife and a throwing knife. And what they had to do was they had to kill the enemies, and they had unlimited lives, obviously. And once you kill an enemy as an infected, they become infected and they join your team. And basically, the aim of the game is to survive without being an infected. So, um, yeah. Moving on, kill confirmed. Team deathmatch with a twist. Collect enemy dog tags to score for your team. So we know what this is. We've seen this for like, this is like the third year that kill confirmed has been out. It got introduced in Modern Warfare 3, I believe. We go on domination a classic fight for control of three flags. The more flags your team holds, the more points you gain. You know what this is, you've seen it before. Next one is a new one, hunted. Players start with limited equipment. Take control of drop zones to get better equipment. So this is I guess this is a variation to the drop zone we saw in Modern Warfare 3. We'll see. And um, moving on, free for all, straight up deathmatch, every man for himself, kill everyone. We know what this is, this isn't every cod, so. Team Tactical, this has been, I, this was in Black Ops, the first one, I can't, I'm not too sure if it was in Modern Warfare 3, I think it was. 
and I don't think it was in Black Ops 2. So they kind of have this sometimes and they don't always have it. So Team Tactical, I remember playing this a lot in Black Ops, the first one. Small 4v4 matches with a mixture of objective game modes. So this is more for your smaller teams. If you only have like two or three teammates with you, this is the one you want to play. It's basically a playlist. It's like a, um, a bunch of these different game modes thrown into one playlist and you guys get to vote which one you want to play as a team. Moving on, Hardcore. There's only three Hardcore game modes. You have Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Search and Rescue. Hardcore, if you never played it, basically uh, bullets take less to kill or extra bullet damage as it describes it. Um, some of them have Ricochet. Ricochet means... Um, I believe Ricochet means if you shoot a teammate, it kills you, I think. So basically there's no friendly fire. I'm, I, I, I can't remember what ricochet means. I don't really play hardcore. Um, oh yeah, see, like it says right there, friendly fire is directed back to the shooter. So if you shoot your teammate, you die. Um, and then it says limited HUD. So basically that means you don't have, you know, a map or it doesn't say how many bullets you have, all that kind of stuff. It's just you and your gun. Unless you get like a satcom, then it starts showing your map. So um, that's pretty much it for hardcore. Moving on, clan versus clan. This is new. This is like the pub version of game battles, I guess. You know, if you remember back in Black Ops One, they brought out a game mode called competitive, and I guess this is the closest thing to that. We have clan versus clan, team deathmatch, and clan objectives. And I think this is, yeah, this is kind of like team tactical, where a maximum of four players. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun as well. Um, I don't know, maybe they, hopefully they have like a indicator of how many of these kind of games you've won on your, on your barracks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and saw a bunch of new gamers that we haven't seen before or, um, missed some of the ones that were taken out and replaced by newer ones. Let me, let me know what you guys think about that and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.